What up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt and are you guys as pumped as I am? I'm I'm pumped. The season looks beyond the hype. Donald Mustard really was right when he said the Marvel season would somehow tie into the wider narrative because after beating back Galactus with an army of battle buses a billion strong, we weren't quite able to stop him from ripping the zero point out of the island's core. Meaning it's now exposed. The loop is under threat and Agent Jonesy has jumped into it to gather the multiverse's most impressive warriors in an attempt to set things straight. Just like in chapter one, worlds are colliding. The zero point must now be secured and no one can escape the loop. In other words, it's time to break down everything in the new season and oh boy, is there a whole lot to go through. But before any of that, did you guys know that ProGuides has recently launched a new channel? You can head on over to the brand new ProGuides channel where we're going to be telling the tales of games across the industry. Do you want to know how the FPS genre revolutionized gaming and brought it to the massive? Bam, there it is. The hunt for web slinging perfection? Boom, got that too. Stories about your favorite streamers and content creators? They're on their way. Head over, subscribe to the channel, watch a couple videos, and I'll give you a cookie. Promise. Okay, back on track. Let's start this new season off with all the changes coming to the map in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5, because there's a fair few of them. We'll address the biggest thing first. When the Zero Point was ripped free of the island, its influence created a massive desert. This new Zero Point Desert includes the Colossal Colosseum, which is a big gladiator arena themed area. There's the new Desert Pancakes area, which kind of feels like a Wild West themed pancakes restaurant. I'd love to eat somewhere like that. There's the Razor Crest, which has crash landed on the island. So the Mando might want to stage some repairs at some point over the season. And we've also got Hunter's Haven, though that looks a bit eh compared to everywhere else. Though it does have a mech inside of it. Please, no more mechs. Didn't we learn? Didn't we learn from last time there were mechs? Oh, and then there's Salty Towers. Salty Towers! Oh, you're not freaking out because Tilted is coming back? Well, what about Flush Factory? Elements of the old map are slowly seeping back through to the new one, and that is awesome. Like the old Spawn Island. That's back too. Outside of the main desert area, Pleasant Park has been de-doomed, and a little bit further above it, we've got the Stealthy Stronghold, which almost kind of looks like something straight out of Jurassic Park, right? Guys, it pains me to say this, the island and the agency are truly no more. The zero point has wiped that area out completely. The daring among you might try to jump into the zero point, but it'll just spit you right back out after healing you. Okay, those are all the major changes to the map. Next up, we'll go over the general changes to gameplay elements in the season, ranging from vaulted and unvaulted weapons to new consumables and even some new mechanics. The Fire Trap, Scoped AR, Revolver, Pump Shotgun, Combat Shotgun, Fire Flopper, Hot Flopper, Midas Flopper, Boogie Bombs, Epic Assault Rifle, Epic Burst Rifle, Rocket Launcher, and the Epic and Legendary Tac SMG are all going back down into the depths of the vault. That's right guys, it is another season without the pump shotgun. But hey, at least the TAC is back, right? That's right, coming out of the vault are the TAC shotty, the charge shotty, the double barrel shotty, which only has a tiny 1.53% spawn chance by the way, the P90, the SMG, the Storm Scout Rifle, balloons, and even the heavy AR, which has had a slight increase to its fire rate. The tack shotty has also been buffed at all rarities by 0.5 damage per pellet. Now that doesn't sound like much, but when you put it into the perspective that the tack shoots out 10 pellets per shot, that means if you hit all of your pellets, you're going to be doing an extra five damage. I know, isn't that crazy? Five damage? The Mandalorian's Ambar Rifle is also going to be added to the game. You can switch it up to be a melee type weapon. There's also the new Dragon's Breath Shotgun, which is something that was leaked or feels like forever ago at this point, as well as something called Boom Sniper Rifle and the Nighthawk Tracker. There's a brand new set of consumables, mainly in the form of new floppers. There's the Tiger Zero Fish, Leafy Zero Fish, Skull Zero Fish, Rift Go Flopper, Sandstorm Rift Flopper, and the Zero Point Flopper. You can also get these strange Zero Point Crystals by breaking the big shards near the Zero Point POI. If you eat one, you'll get 15 XP and a pretty sick double jump forward that takes you through buildings and structures. 
In this season, there is a whole new bounty quest system in the game. You can access quests at the bounty board, which will give you certain challenges to do. If you complete your bounty challenges, you'll earn gold bars, which you can then trade in for more exotic weapons, which are probably where things like the Dragon's Breath, Mando Jetpack, Amban Sniper, and Boom Sniper come into things. You'll find characters all over the map in random locations, and using the gold bars you grab, you can buy special weapons, upgrade your current weapons, or even recruit them to fight with you. If you find yourself trapped in the desert, just stand still for a moment. You'll be sucked under the sand and be able to travel faster than before, just below the surface. Equally, if you're in the desert, beware sneaky sand surfers trying to get the jump on you. Speaking of things trying to get the jump on you, be careful when you're traversing the map. In some locations, new IO Guard henchmen will appear throughout a mysterious underground platform. These are dangerous warriors and they're honestly pretty tough to deal with if you're not expecting them. You can encounter these guys in locations like Risky Reels and the new Coliseum. This new season looks like it's shaping up to be one of the best of the chapter. Are you guys enjoying it? Let me know in the comments down below. We like to read all of the comments we can. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to keep up to date with everything related to the new season.